Mr. Greedy is helpfully heavy. Roger Hargreaves Mr. Greedy likes to eat, and the more he eats, the bigger he gets, and the bigger he gets, the heavier he becomes, which was a problem, as you will see. Mr. Greedy woke up and yawned and stretched. Crack! Bump! The crack was the sound of Mr. Greedy's bed breaking, and the bump was the sound of Mr. Greedy hitting the floor. Oh! Dear, said Mr. Greedy. Mr. Greedy got up off the floor and went into the bathroom and ran a bath. But when he got into the bath, all the water got out. There was not enough room in the bath for both Mr. Greedy and the water. Oh dear, he said again. Mr. Greedy looked at himself in his mirror. He had a wide mirror, but he was even wider and could not see very much of himself. Oh dear! He went downstairs for breakfast. As he waited for the bread to toast, he let his hand rest on the loaf of bread and squashed it flat. He even had heavy hands. After a large breakfast of squash toast, he leant back in his chair. There was another loud crack and bump. He found himself on the floor again. I wish I wasn't so heavy, he sighed to himself. Now Mr. Greedy had been invited to Mr. Uppity's house for lunch. So Mr. Greedy squeezed through his front door and squeezed into his car. He started the engine. Then, with four loud bangs, all four tyres on his car burst. Bang! 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 He had to get the bus. But when he climbed on, the other end of the bus tipped up. I think you need to lose some weight, suggested the bus conductor. As the bus drove off without him, Mr. Greedy looked down at his large tummy. Oh dear, he sighed, not for the first time that day. Mr. Greedy had to walk all the way to Mr. Uppity's house. He was very tired and very hot and very hungry when he got there. Mr. Uppity lives in the biggest house in Big Town. Mr. Uppity was very rich. Mr. Uppity answered the door. What do you want? he demanded. Mr. Uppity was very rude. You invited me for lunch? said Mr. Greedy. Oh, yes, said Mr. Uppity. You'll have to wait. I'm very busy. What are you doing? asked Mr. Greedy. Packing, answered Mr. Uppity, and went up to his bedroom. Mr. Greedy followed. Mr. Uppity's bedroom was full of suitcases, and every suitcase was overflowing. Mr. Uppity went round the room trying to close them, but they were so full it was impossible. Don't just stand there. Give me a hand, ordered Mr. Uppity, bossily. Mr. Greedy tried pushing a suitcase shut but it was no good. Then he had an idea. He sat on the lid of the suitcase and because he was so heavy, the suitcase closed. Brilliant, said Mr. Uppity. You can shut the rest. Mr. Greedy beamed. 
For the first time in a very long time, Mr. Greedy had found something useful that he could do. And on his way home, Mr. Greedy had an idea. An idea that meant he could be useful every day. He went to the local newspaper and placed an advertisement. Going on holiday? Having trouble fitting everything in your suitcase? Then call Mr. Greedy, the expert suitcase squasher. Mr. Greedy had found himself a job. He went home, ate a huge supper to celebrate, went to bed and slept. And do you know how he slept? I'll tell you. He slept... Heavily! Thank you for listening.